Yippee ki -yay, movie lovers, it's Jan here, Zootopia is finally coming out on Blu-ray and DVD, so I wanted to take a look at some of the characters who were deleted from the final cut of the movie. I'm going to break down who they were and how they would have fit into the story. Just be aware that if you haven't seen the film yet, there will be a few spoilers, so if that bothers you, check out my spoiler-free review here. Honey Badger was a female friend of Nick's who believed in the conspiracy theory that sheep were secretly running the world. Honey lived in a bunker that was fitted out with some hilarious anti-sheep weaponry, ranging from shearing scissors to a hedge trimmer and from waxing strips to a golf bag filled with fireworks. In real life, honey badgers are very fierce animals, and Honey's character was designed to appear unstable. She had different sized eyes and went around with stained clothes and food in her hair. Some early concept art shows some of the funny conspiracy theories that Honey believed about sheep. And given this in the end, we find out that Bellwether's actually the villain, maybe Honey did have a point after all. Honey's character wasn't completely lost to the movie though, as she turns up as Dr. Madge Honey Badger, the doctor doing research for Mayor Lionheart on the imprisoned predators at Cliffside Asylum. The gerbil jerks are a pair of annoying gerbils from Little Rodentia, who used to aggravate Nick by deliberately running over his tail in their little red car. And every time they did that, Nick would get a shock from his tame collar, which predators had to wear in early drafts of Zootopia. The tame collars were designed to keep predators under control, and I'll talk more about them in my video on Zootopia's deleted scenes and rejected concepts, which you can click right here to watch. Kozlov, the polar bear who carries Mr. Big into the room where Nick and Judy are waiting, has a five-year-old son called Morris. Morris actually appears in a deleted scene called The Taming Party, which is a rite of passage ceremony in which young predators receive tame collars. The scene features an emotional and tender moment when Kozlov gives his son Morris his tame collar, which signifies his son's acceptance into Zootopian society. As he celebrates at the party, Morris gets shocked by the collar. Actually, Cory Loftus, the movie's character art director, has said that Morris is the deleted character he misses the most. Morris's look was deliberately designed to make him appear innocent in comparison to his gangster polar bear father, Kozlov. Doug the Ram started out life as a character called Woolly, who also worked for Bellwether but at her office rather than in their Breaking Bad style lab. Woolly was also a villain who managed to disguise the fact that he was shredding paperwork by looking like he was eating paper out of cans. Also using a corset and overcoat, Woolly would disguise himself as a wolf, making him a clever twist on the phrase, a wolf in sheep's clothing. By the way, at the end of the final version of the movie, that phrase actually does come to life when Bogo tells the wolf police officer Wolford to put on a ram's mask to go undercover. The Razorbacks were an elite tactical police team that would be deployed in the event of predators getting out of control. They were named Razorbacks after the North American term for a wild boar or hog. And just like wild boar, the Razorbacks had the ability to sniff out predators and so sometimes were also referred to as sniffers. During Zootopia's development, the team had lots of different ideas for a goat character. Eventually, these culminated in a character called Mabel the Old Goat, who is created as a meter maid partner for Judy. The scene that was storyboarded but didn't make the cut was rather amusing and featured Mabel telling Judy to keep up the good work as in 50 years time she could look forward to being promoted to Mabel's position. Originally, Bellwether wasn't going to be the movie's villain. Instead, directors Byron Howard and Rich Moore planned to have a pig as the film's baddie. The reason for this initial choice was that pigs are said to be very smart animals. This villainous pig was going to be called Mer Swinton, and she was designed to be both extremely clever and smartly dressed. So guys, what do you think about the deleted characters and would you like to have seen any of them in the movie? And who's your favourite character in Zootopia? Let me know in the comments below. Just to let you know, coming up I'll have a cool giveaway for this awesome The Art of Zootropolis hardback book on my next Zootopia video, so make sure you're subscribed to see that. In the meantime, you can check out my Zootopia playlist below, including my 25 things you didn't know about Zootopia, my full Easter egg guide to the movie and my 5 favourite moments from the film. Film. Thanks for watching and see you next time, Yubi Gaye movie lovers!